All right, guys, it arrived. <clears throat> the box it came from Jersey. Actually, came from Sweden to someone in Jersey, and now to me. So, testing a new knife. Awesome knife. Very cool. Very interesting. <clears throat> so, cut into this and see what we got here. I'm nervous. I was actually carrying this with two fingers like it was a bomb or something. <clears throat> I got a note. And. Oh, God. <clears throat> there it is. Sir Strumming. Hmm. Nice rusted can. <laughs> that always adds to the flavor. Oh, God. I'm nervous. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to read the note. Jeff, here it is. Good luck. Chuck. This came from Chuck from the Bronx, and I'm going to link him in the description box. He's the person that made this happen. Uh, subscribe to Chuck. I want to say like four months ago or so. Um, actually caught his, his first video I saw a while ago. <clears throat> when I was looking up um, people who did uh, uh, the Ghost Chili videos, you know. And he does all kinds of dare. He is a character. He's an awesome guy. Uh, very entertaining to watch. And he's the person who made this possible. So, I'm thanking you now, Chuck. I'm sure I'm going to hate you as soon as I'm done with this. But, I'm going to uh, change my clothes. Because I want to get into some clothes that I can throw out if need be. <laughs> so, I will be back. And we will try Sir Stroming. I'm, uh, hey, Gus, you don't want that. <laughs> I'm outside, I'm in my backyard. Um, nowhere near, hopefully, where this smell is going to permeate. And I'm uh, wearing a full wardrobe that is disposable, including my shoes. I need, need to throw them out. So, <clears throat> God. Here it is, Sir Stroming. I'm going to be trying this now. I have a, a spork because I don't even want to use my real, you know, eating utensils on this because I just want to throw it out. So yes, rocking the spork. Maybe I'll get some juice in there if I can handle it. <clears throat> and my old cane opener, which is going to be thrown out, I'm sure. And uh, so I'm going to wipe my face if I throw up. Okay. So here we go. Here's the, the big unveiling. Let me... Turn the camera on down a little bit here. I'm get a closer view of this. Alright. First, I'm going to open it and smell it and see what the deal is. <clears throat> I'm actually really, really nervous. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Just get out of here, buddy. You don't want that. Trust me. hear the hissing oh oh my god oh my god I smell it oh my god I could smell it oh shit oh god I spilled some <laughs> not cool Oh my, oh my god. <laughs> oh. oh no. Oh no. You have... <coughs> you think that, um, you know, you can handle it? You're like, oh yeah, big deal. Oh. I never smell anything like this in my life. You know when like if you ever stuck your face like in a dumpster? Like obviously you don't do it on purpose, but if you ever put your face in a dumpster and you have that just that thick, rich, like just rotting, old, putrid, sweet, tangy stink. I mean just it's far worse than that. It's far worse than any 
<clears throat> any dumpster. I can't even explain the smell. Let me. Oh, oh. Oh, it's bad. All right. Let's take a closer look at this. I'm going to spill a little of the juices out. Oh, God. All right. Oh, there it is. Old rotten fish <clears throat> floating in disgusting juice. Now, it is like the whole fish. You got the scales, the skin. I don't know if there's bone in there or not. Let's take a piece out and look at it. Oh, God. Oh. oh, no, I got the juice on my finger. Oh, oh God. Oh. They're fillets. It doesn't, <clears throat> it doesn't look like there's any bone in it, which is nice. But I want to try to get a piece of just the fish. Oh, God. This is so putrid. There's a lot in here, too. All right, here's <clears throat> a piece of it. It's, uh, what is that, hair? It looks like it's hairy. I don't know, maybe those are little pin bones. All right, <clears throat> I'm going to try to get a... I want to get a little, just a piece of the, the fish itself, but it's so, I don't have any other instruments here to play with this, so. <clears throat> Alright, let me change my camera angle so you can actually see what I'm looking like trying to try this stuff. Alright, I got lots of juice on here. Hopefully you guys can see this. I mean. My body is telling me, don't put this in your mouth. The way this smells, you don't want to eat it. All right. Here's some juice. Oh, what is that? Ugh, get off of there. Oh, God. All right. Here we go. Sir Stroming juice. I don't know if I should laugh or cry. It's pungent. It's strong. All right, let's just... All right. <clears throat> Let me... Hold on. Move the camera down. All right, guys, I'm just going to man up here. <clears throat> it's a big piece. A big fillet. A fillet of rotten fish. Let me see if I can describe this smell. It smells like... It smells like rotten onions mixed with burning tire. <sighs> There's fish in it. It's fishy, but it's not like... It's not what you think of. It, it, it really it smells like burning rubber and tire mixed with rotten onions and rotten fish. Oh, God. Ah, it's slimy. It's slimy. Very salty. Bones in it, all kinds of shit.
I hope you guys can see this, but I am crying. Oh. I'm gonna man up here. I'm gonna give another shot. I know I can do it. Oh. God damn. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna man up. This is this I can't I can't explain it to you. I wish every single person watching this video can smell and taste this so you know what it's like because I you cannot fathom it. I've seen the videos, I've seen all the videos on YouTube, people trying to start I couldn't fathom this. I just all I thought was like rotten fish. It doesn't even smell like rotten fish. It, it that's like the smallest part of it. And it's very, very salty. Alright. Take two. Try it again. It's slimy and you don't want to chew it. And the second you swallow it, it's horrific. Get a bigger piece than that. <clears throat> oh, fuck. The smell is horrific. Can't get it to stay in my spork. All right, guys, I'm gonna try this again. Another piece of sir strumming. Oh, God, the smell on this is horrific. It's so bad. All right, I'm a man up here. I don't think I've successfully seen, oh, actually Natter. I think Natter ate a piece, but he's inhuman. A Natter from uh, Reckless Eating. He has his own channel. Actually, you know what? Here's a great shout out for Natter. I'll put his uh, thing down below. Uh, does competitive eating and all kinds of funky things, but man, he can eat anything. I think he's the only person I've ever seen actually eat this without immediately throwing up. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna, Natter up here and see if I can do this. So here we go. Another huge piece of Sir Stroming. I mean, it's a big fillet of disgustingness. You know what? This is a direct challenge to Shoe Nice too. Shoe Nice, you can eat a lot of crap, but you can't eat this. Not like that. So that's my official challenge to anyone out there. See how long I can keep it down. That is really by far the most vile, most disgusting thing I've ever had in my entire life. Nothing will ever beat that. It literally tastes like rotten, liquefied garbage on top of burning rubber that's salted, heavily salted. <clears throat> Plus, when you're eating it, it's gooey. It has no fish texture at all. It's like goo and slime, and the scales are pointy, and they're like poking you, and there's a little... There's tiny, tiny bones in it. Nothing like you have to, you know, crunch through, but that is the most disgusting thing I've ever had in my life. And I'm trying, I'm mentally, if you really want to know, the reason I even get through it, because in my mind, I'm pretending like someone's going to give me a million dollars for doing it. <laughs> I have to trick myself mentally to actually take it. And unfortunately, there's no million dollars. There's not even a hundred bucks. <laughs> How sad for me. <laughs> Chuck from the Bronx. <sighs> Thank you. 
It's an experience. It's certainly an experience. I think I'm going to be okay. So, I would love, if anyone can get a hold of this stuff, to put your video responses, try this on camera. <clears throat> and I'm challenging everyone, the whole world, all of YouTube, everywhere. I want to see your Surstroming video. I want to see you take it like I just took it. Man up, natter up, and uh, show some cojones, because I just did. I feel good about it. No, I don't. My stomach's gurgling. It's coming back up real soon. <clears throat> That's disgusting. All right. <clears throat> I don't think I'm going to puke. I wish I wish I could save this to give to someone else. There's no way I, I have to leave it outside. Not that it's going to get spoiled or anything. <laughs> But I kind of wish someone else was here to do this with me so they can really experience with it. You know, experience what it's like, but <clears throat> I wouldn't want to torture anyone. All right, guys, so you saw it here. Cutlery lever just dominated Sir Stroming. Took two tries. The first try didn't work. The second try, I literally just pretended like someone was going to give me a million dollars for doing it. And that's what got me through. But uh, proof of mind over matter. It is horrifying tasting it's horrifying smell the entire yard stinks like this the second my can opener pierced the can and we gave a little tiny queef out of the can i immediately just it it's like it reached into my nose and grabbed the inside of my nose and just like tugged on it it was horrific still smells everywhere i'm sure the neighbors get a call to complain that there's roadkill somewhere because that's what it smells like roadkill and, and rubber tires <sighs> after trying this I can eat anything, and I know that. So there's nothing that can freak me out as much as that. That was disgusting. But thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. I will try to enjoy mine, but it's hard to do after some stress drumming. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Take it easy, guys.